Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 13 of this Let's Play Civilization V with Venice. In the previous episode, we did some diplomatic shenanigans. Greece, Arabia, and Spain all denounced me. Arabia I'm a little bit worried about because of the power of their tourism. They are gaining a lot of tourism, particularly on us. We are already familiar, in fact, so is Spain. And if we let that rise too high then bad things start happening and it becomes harder to attack them. Um, like they've already got the... Oh, that's a reduction in unrest population. But anyway, we need to curtail Arabia's power because they are in danger of actually getting a cultural victory. Otherwise, no, we have just nothing. Let's see who's producing... What tourism? Arabia is definitely the most. Greece is fairly high. I suppose Portugal to be fair, but I'm fairly sure that Arabia is the danger. Yeah. Even the difference there. They have at least double what we have. So we need to take Arabia down, and to that end, I bribed both Denmark and Portugal to declare war on them. Denmark I already had a declaration of friendship with, so they're pretty chill. And because I had a declaration of friendship with Portugal with uh, Denmark, Denmark and Portugal had one, and because I bribed Portugal and gave them a bunch of stuff, it was actually a pretty good deal for them. Uh, they now have a declaration of friendship with me as well, which means both of those will not get particularly upset with warmonger penalties, and will actually like the fact I'm taking down their enemies. So our military is rushing north, uh, ready to engage the Arabs as well. That will tick off Greece and Spain, but quite frankly I can take those. And possibly Washington. Washington's the only one really in a position where they could hurt me. But they're being very close to Arabia is a bad thing, so I can just turn my military around and head south and fight them. Plus, I also have a lot of cities around them, and my cities tend to be fairly well defended. Uh, the one thing that I will be losing is a bunch of trade income, because we do have several trade routes with Arabia. So if we wait six turns, we would get two of those back. Do I want to wait six turns? It might well be worthwhile. Although, I could also plunder one, two, three, four of their trade routes, earning me 800 gold straight away. No, more than that, because we're in a later age. It might even be... 1200 now. I think it's 100 per era. Um, that's very tempting. And the other benefit is it would allow me to land my army. So they're actually on the ground ready to fight rather than having to rush through here and try and land them. And they'll be on the coast. And then when these guys counter attack me, I'll be, in, I'll be very much out of position. But then again, when I come to landing these troops, I can land the full coast rather than just these couple of tiles here. Which would be a benefit. Right, their city can only shoot up to here. Allow me to land here, 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 and here. And still be out of range of Mecca. I'm sorely tempted by this, and Damascus will fall really easily. Like, really easily. So I could use these privateers to go after the cargo ships, and I could use my frigates to bombard, that you're just out of range, so it's only going to be you who's in bombardment range. So I could use these three ships to go after those caravans, I could use you to go after that one, uh, you probably to go after that one, in fact that's, yeah, it's four. Um, hmm. yeah, I could use you to bombard that privateer so the privateer can do less damage to me. In fact I could use certainly could. You'll be just out of range. Yeah, you are. So I'm going to move you up to here. Just have a look around. There's two privateers. Very often the AI does move ships together as a group. So you would be in a position to open fire. So would you. I could take down two at least. I need three if I used all three of them. I just want to have a look up here just to see if there is anyone in the way. There isn't. You know what? I think it's time for oh. war. No, it's not. 
I need to denounce him first. I think the denouncement needs to be around for a couple of turns, but again, it's not actually explained anywhere, so I don't know. Because that's how the Cassus Bellies and Civ 6 work. So I could end up at war with four different nations at the same time. Which would kind of suck, but again... I, I don't think that's necessarily unfeasible. Because the one with the biggest military is Denmark, they're my friends. And then I am second. And I have a big military. And I can buy more if I need to. Though so not as rapidly as I should like. You know what? Oh, in the whole end. You are an uncivilized brute. Yeah, I know I am, but what am I? No, sorry, I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> Alright, let's kill that. Let's send... Oh, two of them vanished immediately. Oh, in that case, we're going to send you here. And a pillage, I think. It's only 200. And then dash away again. Send you up here to bombard him. Send you over here to sink him. Oh yeah, 50% capture chance. Forgot about the capture chance. Must have used that more. I must need to use that more. I didn't capture him. Can I get over there with you? Oh, I can't. I should have moved this way. Mistake! Um, let's have a look around. These guys can just continue to move. Hopefully there's just so many of us that even if they did have some ships over here it wouldn't really matter. We'll just continue moving you guys over. We can definitely plunder you. In fact, plundering doesn't take a move, I thought it did. Interesting. Oh yeah, we have we have a lot of ships in position over there. Cool. Uh, you are continuing on your way north. There's the Portuguese fleet on their way over as well. Continue to explore because I would like to see a bit more of the Greek territories just in case they do try anything on us. We can at least look around. So, Panama is an ally, and they're right behind them. They have a big army actually. Interesting. Uh, let's keep you kind of going like this. Meanwhile, the rest of the fleet continues to move. I'm going to leave one man on my Great Admiral because I don't want to lose him. You can move four. Use you to attack him. Oh, we'll take damage back. Not really worth it. Oh, you know what? I need some workers over here. Yeah, to repair this stuff. Let's do that. Hopefully you don't get attacked on the way. Hopefully. We should send you north. No, oh, wait, that was Merchants of Proxy. Oh no, that was Trade Route. Never mind. I was like, they want money! They don't want money. Vatican, Vancouver. He actually has quite a few city states. Ireis considerar esta oferta? Oh yeah, and I voted for Portugal's thing in the Congress. I hadn't actually, like, factored in, but it is a thing. Which also increases their relations, which is why they wanted the Declaration of Friendship, which at the turn before they were not interested in. I'm down to only five trade routes. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I'm gonna have to trade with these close guys. And yeah, I have to say that I think that... They are in quite a lot of trouble. Exploring. Keep 
you moving this way now. Their ships have moved away. Interesting. In that case... Bombardment! Oh, you know what? Before I start bombarding stuff, I should look to see if I can get any plus happiness buildings. Or if I can trade for happiness resource. Coliseums or um, circuses, so that I don't have the uh, penalty to combat strength. There we go. Much better. Let's bring you over here. Do I have any frigates coming from this side? I do. Where can we reach? Nowhere of any real use. One, two. You wouldn't be able to fire this turn anyway. Let's just move you very slightly. And just have you over here. Likewise, I'll just move you in the correct direction. Here's the frigates that I need in position so they can fire. I should be able to get four shots off. Maybe five. Yes, five. Cool. This is why I frickin' love navies. Um, actually, I'm gonna move you here. Because that should give you a bit of an easier time getting in here. And opening fire. So a pretty hefty opening round there. And then we can sweep in with the privateers. To do some additional damage. Unfortunately, the privateers will take some damage here. But once we have Damascus, we can kind of just sit back on our laurels a bit and fortify. Plus, of course, attacking stuff with privateers equals money. Let's keep you slightly out of range. You can jump in there. Oh, in fact, you might be able to take it. You can. No, you can't reach it. Box. Oh, we'll leave you there. Oh, but can you? Oh, you can. <laughs> Marvellous. Boom! Great puppet. Okay, that really hurts my happiness though. Which will reduce my overall combat strength. You're moving men over there, I don't like this. Let's just have a look around. make it so that our ranged guys are kind of at the back and our melee guys are not. Something kind of like that. Let's continue exploring through this bit. So I really need to send you home somewhere to repair. I guess we'll send you up this way, just have a look around. Same with you. Man, I love my navy. Same with you guys. You're kind of slowly but surely making your way up here. Likewise with the cannon. The cannon, actually having two cannon here by mech will be very, very helpful. Because they actually can hurt it. Is there anyone? That has got spare luxury resources I could buy from you. Simple answer is no. Well, Alexander's losing a lot of money. That's interesting. How's Arabia doing? Can't tell. Like, no one's making a particularly large amount of money except for Portugal, and that's mostly because that's coming from me. I think I gave him 50 a turn, or was it 100 a turn? I don't remember. It was a lot. Uh, oh no, only 44 cent to other civilizations, it was less than I remember. Or did I just give them one big lump sum? That could be. Yeah, that could well be. <clears throat> right, so, Civ 6, which I kind of forgot to talk about in the last episode, but Brazil is another of the factions you can play as, and they are all about great people. 
lots and lots and lots of great people. They can recoup cost points, cost spending. So basically in Civ 6, I think you can spend money and you can spend great people points to purchase great people. And whenever you do that as Brazil, you actually recoup part of the cost. So it basically costs you less to get great people, although you do have to pay the full price. And that's just to kind of stop you just spamming them out. But you'll be able to get your next one more quickly. Ooh, minus nine happiness. That's really not good. Oh, you can upgrade to what? Lancer. Interesting. And you keep your upgrades as well. Cool. I really need more happiness buildings, guys. Fighting with a minus nine deficit is really not nice. We're building a workshop. Do a zoo, which is plus two. Think. Can you do a Colosseum? You have it already. What about over here? I'm pretty sure that you guys don't have them. Colosseum. Suravaya. Oops. You are building a Colosseum, but you've only just started it, so we're going to buy it for you instead. And you change production to a university. Much better. Jakarta. Building a zoo. You've already got a Colosseum. Yes. Uh, Damascus doesn't do anything for us. And those are the only places that could. Right. But we're down to minus four, which is an 8% damage penalty rather than the extortionate whatever it was before. Minus 18. And that is only going to get worse as we take more cities, unfortunately. And there's not much I can do about it unless we get some luxuries. Like actually if we take Medina, that would give us access to Ivory. I don't think we currently have. No, we do already. Bugger. Pearls? Do we have pearls? We have pearls. Anyway, um, I think that this military needs to start shifting over to Medina and preparing for that assault. Once Medina's fallen, they can move around and start going after Mecca. So actually, if I only need like four units maybe five to go after Mecca for you four and two frigates for you three and two frigates and the rest go after that that will probably be okay actually let's move you up here and have a look around oh, hello frigate two, one, attack and then two frigates did that in the wrong order. Should have bombarded it first and then done the actual attack to try and capture it. Bombardment! And go in for the uh, final kill with a privateer for the capture. Hopefully. 50% chance. Come on, you can do this. Nope, you can't. Alright, so that is the military which is going to go after them move you up one more and then the rest are going to go after Medina except for the ones that have damaged are going to heal up should be sufficient though hopefully I mean we have a lot of bombardment potential still Rest until healed, rest until healed. You can head over this way as well. Alright, do we want to start landing troops? I think we kind of do. On moving those guys up. Oh, hello, Navy going after. Who are you going after? But well, we want to run away because this guy would sink super easily. Run around. We're just going to keep on kind of trying to slip by them, hopefully unannounced, unnoticed, but I kind of doubt that. All right, we have Belgrade. Belgrade, no. Jakarta to Lisbon, that's a little bit dangerous. Or is it actually? 
Where's Jakarta? Gusa, Belgrade, Makassar. Oh right, yeah, Jakarta is Indonesia. Um, you know what, that's actually fairly safe. So we're going to move you over to Jakarta. And we have a privateer in Belgrade who was repairing, I believe. Let's just send you north, as that is in roughly the right direction. And you are coming around this way. Kind of. Okay, so... We are mostly in position. They will have some riflemen coming up from behind me. And the rifles are quite a lot stronger than my own musket, so I'm expecting to take some land casualties here. Let's see what they do. Anyway, um, Brazil. They can build carnivals, which... Oh, wait, why do you have some musket pikemen? Uh, let's send you up north as well. So, yeah, Brazil can build the carnival district which replaces the entertainment complex so apparently the complexes are districts I guess they're later on than districts or they're just a different name I, I don't know I seem to remember Germany's hunter replaced the commercial district and I wasn't sure if that was uh, sorry the commercial hub actually it's a hub it's not a complex I'm still going to assume that's a district anyway carnival it functions in a bit of a weird way you can when you have it in your city the city that it's around can then do the carnival city project which turns production into amenities now is the way i understood it is that amenities <laughs> were local happiness so if you're doing the city project does that mean you have a temporary local happiness i'm not sure but then it also says that when that project is complete you get great per person points does that mean it's a repeatable project does that mean you basically have a source of infinite amenities for infinite population growth which is kind of interesting, because that would mean that you can have absolutely redonkulously huge cities, which is kind of a thing that Brazil often does in this anyway. But it's, it's a little bit unclear. I wasn't too sure about that one. All right, let's move you up to here so you can just jump onto the boats next turn. You are trading with... Lisbon. And you are... Oh, the ship I keep on sending in different directions. There's the Danish Navy. Oh, here they come. They're on their way back. Let's go and take out Medina first, though. That's definitely what we want to do. You're in position to start bombarding. Do we want to do that? No, I don't think we do. Next time we'll start bombarding. Because otherwise they basically get a free shot at my free. I don't particularly like the idea of that. Uh, move you there. And we only have the one privateer who's in range right now. So next turn hopefully we'll have a couple more. going on here. Oh yeah, there we go. Hmm. I might actually take some casualties here. Let's see if we can get the capture. Oh. Man, we're not having much luck with the captures at all, are we? Crikey. Let's move you up to here so we get the flanking bonuses at least. Uh, we could do an attack. I think we probably should. Otherwise it's just going to shoot at us. And you're going to continue sneakily going around the Greek frontier, having a look around. I would like to send you over this way. I think I will send you with this guy. Because it would be nice to have the Great Admiral over there to help in the naval affair going on. You three can hold still. Cannon's on his way. Doesn't look like they particularly want to have a go at us. Which is awfully nice of them. And, and, and land. Land. I think I'm going to hold with you 
And you can be here ready to help out with Medina. Yes. Alright, cool. Next turn, Medina probably will fall. Hopefully. We get a zoo next turn, that's another two happiness. Basically everywhere else is done already. Even more science coming up. Oh, we're getting rifling next turn. That's awesome. That would th theoretically mean that we could withdraw <laughs> from here. If, especially if we've taken Medina. We could march our troops over to Medina, upgrade them all en masse, and then send them back again. Although we probably wouldn't have the money for it. And I have discovered aluminium. Which I should probably go and mine. Is that already mined? That is... Oh, we've got loads of aluminium. So that's you. That's you. That's you. They're already all mined. Cool. And we have eclipsed America in technology. That's good to know. Uh, we're already in Arabia. Let's withdraw you. And send you to Madrid, I guess. So I kind of suspect we are more or less a world leader in tech now. Oh no, we're still third. Arabia has the highest population. Not for long. Like When we take Arabia down, we're probably going to leapfrog to first. Depending on how much happiness we have left. Alright, so while that's loading up, um, Brazil gets a unique battleship, which is kind of an interesting one. Na, 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 na. It is the minus... Gerace, I think it's pronounced, and it has improved defense, so that's basically combat strength, so it can resist attack better, and then improved ranged combat, so it's just a buffed up battleship, which actually sounds pretty awesome, actually. There they come, they're attacking on a hill, though, and I... Most of my melee guys do have the rough combat bonus. Oh, you're not even attacking the same ships. That is a humongous mistake, I have to say. Or my caravel. That's fine. A Panama and Vatican fighting. I think they kind of should be, but I'm not sure that they are. There we have some more reinforcements coming in. Marvellous. We have you, whom I'm going to stand here, so that both of those get bonuses. I'm just going to open fire on you. I should have used this one for that. We can certainly beat you, hopefully capture. Yes. No! Really? Oh man. Right, we're going to use you... Kind of need... Mm. You come over here. Shoot him. You I'm kind of wasting this ship here. But I want to take this guy out so that he's protected by this ship. It's another kill! Come on! 50% capture chance! I'm going to try and capture you. We've sunk, what, five ships now with privateers? That should have been at least two captures there, if not three. Bah! Um, we'll send over a couple more privateers, we can just get them repaired up afterwards. I think we have a sufficient force to take Medina. I think. Alright, speaking of sufficient force, let's start moving you guys up to prove or disprove that theory. Oh yeah, you're going to need quite a lot of bombardment, actually. Bombardment! in preparation for an ultimate offensive, should that occur. Meanwhile... Ready to do this? Might as well. Yes, our ships will take some damage, but... 
Honestly, we can just repair it after. Blink. Blink. There we go. You are going to sail over on this direction. Just have a look around. You are sailing this way. I thought that was the pyramids. I was like, that's a bit late. But it wasn't the pyramids. It was the Louvre. Alright, so are we going to fight these guys on land? I think we should. We do have a flanking bonus. We'd have an even bigger flanking bonus. Let's stick you there. And do this. Could get a shot off with the crossbows. get the actual kill. Or not. And these guys can get the kill, move off the hill and that allows you to get on the hill. That's not relevant. Let's move you onto the hill. And move you to that hill. Move you over here. And you can basically just run interruption back there. Seven coal, seven coal. They have more than enough coal. Which is somewhat disappointing, because I'd like to be able to knock out their factories, which they inevitably do have. But I don't think we're going to be able to do that, so we're just going to hold position with you, so we get the flanking bonus there. Okay, and with that, I think that we are going to end this episode. So thank you very much for watching. If you are enjoying this series, then please do hit that like button. If you have not done so already, then please do consider subscribing as well. Oh wait, there was one more thing I wanted to say about Brazil. Sorry. Um, districts built adjacent to a rainforest get a bonus. So rather than getting bonuses from the rainforest themselves, you want to keep them around because districts that you build next to the rainforests get a bonus. But that probably doesn't mean that you need quite as many rainforests as you do with Brazil right now. Like just having like a rainforest here would do because you could just surround it in districts and they would all get the bonus and adjacency bonuses from the adjacent districts. So yeah, that's a thing. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you are enjoying this series, then please do hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, please do consider subscribing as well. It really does tremendously help out. If you have any tips or advice for me, then please do let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.